it's Sarah and I just wanted to share that I have put about 10 items in my Etsy store maybe more I still have a few more I want to enter in there but I just wanted to let you guys know um, it's taken me a while to let go of some of these things because I love them so much and you know they are one of a kind and I don't know if I'll ever make anything like this again so just FYI they're made with heart <laughs> And um, so I just wanted to share a couple of them. I have these, I have three trinket boxes. They are polymer clay mosaics. This one is in the music theme. And they're all wooden boxes with lids that come off and on. I've tried them with a hinge lid and the hinge pulls the box over. So I like these better. Um, they're not very big. They're uh, three by three and three inches tall so they're not very big um, but they're super cute so I have the music one and I have towels all the way around I have this one is I'm gonna oh my god come on I can't even it's so stinking cute um, it's just a pink and black Mickey theme but there's Minnie and Figaro I think is the cat's name some jewelry pieces, um, you know, it's just too cute. And I, I don't know that I'll ever make anything like this again. I don't know. So just know that when you purchase something, I have put my little heart and soul into it, all right? So there's that one, and then there's this one. This is the boho theme. I have a picture frame like this as well, and I have a music picture frame as well. Um, but this was just all done with different colors of polymer clay and some gold leafing. A few buttons. And the colors are just amazing. I use metallic paints a lot and pearlescent paints. I painted most of them with the gold. This one I did the purple. And I just love it. It's so cute. So that's on there. And here's one of the frames. These are about 8x8, eight 8x8, by eight. Eight by eight. and then they're about a half an inch width, like height. Um, they come, this is from the Michaels, and they come with this dowel that I've just um, taped onto the back that you stick in the hole. And if it, you know, you just jam it in there. There's, I tried to clean out some of the paint that got in there, but just, you know, you can scrape it out. Uh, I painted this one red and gold in the background and then I just did what I do I put all the different tiles on there uh, most of these are either hand painted there's a couple of hand painted some these are painted painted some stamped and most of the um, things that are buttons that are embedded into the back into the clay so that is, and there's little jewelry findings as well. Little pieces of bling chain, and there's bling chain all over the place. Micro beads. Oh my god, it's so cute. All right, so there's that one. I have this one is something I've haven't done very many. I think this is the only one and only one of these that I did, um, and it's just by using cookie cutters to cut the clay into different shapes and then I just arranged them on the same frame painted it black in the background and then just filled in different shapes and and until I came up with this pattern and I just think it's a cute you know very cute frame again I taped the dowel to the back and I mean I thought about adding a piece of glass you can cut it, get it, you can go buy a glass cutter and just use the dollar store glass that's in the picture frames there. That's what I would do. Just put a piece of glass in here. You Use this as your template, the little cardboard that comes with it. But I thought, I'm just not going to bother doing that. Um, it's more work and more, more money and more, you know, all that. So I just kept it with the frame and you can do with it as you will. I didn't put a hanger on any of these. They are meant to use the stand but you could always hammer a hanger into the back of this um, and use it as a wall hanging this is the boho one so it matches the trinket box 
Again, the same thing, same idea, same width and size. This one's just painted black, has black in the background. And I just love it. I put this one up there. Now, this is a ton of work, but I priced them all about the, in the same uh, price range. Uh, but this has four accent, or one, two, three, beautiful, happy dream words. And then there's a few jewelry pieces. I have the, the bumblebee and this and a dragonfly, but mostly it's painted tiles. I used stamps and then I painted these. Um, I, I use stickles to coat them and seal them and give them a little glitter. So this one's a really different look to it. I forget what I called it. I might have just called it Happy Frame or something like that. I think I might have called it Happy Frame because it says it. But again, same thing with the dowel. And then last but not least, I've had this one the longest. Let's see if there's a date. 2016. And I should have signed these, but I just put a sticker because I'm I'm not to pr out to promote myself. I'm just trying to share. I, I mean, I've had them long enough, and now if someone else can find a home for them, I'm happy to do that. Um, but I created these, and I fell in love. I sold one of these, and I think it's just time to say, go find another home, happy friend. Uh, <laughs> So I think I called this a beach theme because I think the other one was more summer related but this one definitely has to do with the ocean. So it's crabs and lighthouse, lighthouses and lifeguards and there's a couple flowers on here but they're in the blue theme so it's all different colors of blues and silver. Some hand painted tiles, buttons, these little bubbles, I love these. And I just love them, guys. So I just wanted to share and send you guys over there if you're interested. I did also put, I've had a couple requests for these um, welcome signs. And if they sell, I mean, I could paint up a couple more of these. They, they don't take too long to make. I have two in the wooden. It's like a barrel stave, a mini barrel stave. And then I just put uh, hangers in that. So... I mean, you could drill holes in these to hang outside, but, you know, maybe you just hang it inside in your entryway or something, um, because I don't think this would hold up outside as well. Um, this is porous, you know, and, or you could get little um, eye, eye screws and screw them into the top of here and then hang it that way, but I thought that was an easy enough way to hang it by just those little tooth hangers, so I have two of those. And then I have two of the, um, what is this called? Slate. These are little slates that I got at Michael's. And um, this one could be hung outside. I have mine hung outside at the moment because it's kind of a springtime theme. I might put more of a winter theme one. And I just hung some. Um, this is just, it's not really strong, but it's leather cording that you get in the, um, bead aisle at Michael's. I did one with a green cord and you can differentiate if you want. I mean they're really, and this one's a brown cord and you can shorten it if you want to shorten it or whatever. You just tie a knot. It's not hard but I figured I'd put that on there. Um, they're basically the same. I think the biggest difference I saw was um, really there's a brown bird and a blue bird. That was the biggest difference. So I should have put the brown, maybe I'll change that. I'll put the brown string with the brown bird. So that was like kind of a robin. And then this is the blue bird I'll put with the green string. So I have those two. I still have other things that I want to list. Um, I have little ornaments, the glass ornaments that I did with polymer clay. Um, I have a couple other things, but let's see how this goes. And let me know if there if there's items that you'd like to see. And let me zoom back up. Um, but I did it. I finally posted some stuff. And I just wanted to let you guys know. And I'm 
going to work with clay today and then be ready for tomorrow to do mixed media mosaics. Um, we're going to call it mixed media Monday, but it's also mixed media mosaics because you guys wanted me to work with clay. So I will have the clay out. All right. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys.